Hey guys, I'm Natasha. Today we are going to do some best questions of factorization to analytical method. And, uh, and we are going to use some special cases also. So, in that video means in this video we are going to take total three questions. So, let me start with my first question. So, it is that. Question number one. Two forces each of magnitude F have a resultant of the same magnitude F. The angle between the two forces is so uh, four options are given. First one is 45 degree, second one is 120 degree, third one is 150 degree, and the fourth one is 60 degree. Got it? So uh, let me uh, explain you the question. So yeah, so it is that two forces each of magnitude F means there are two forces and they have the magnitude of F. Okay, so means they both have magnitude F and they also have resultant of F. Means magnitude is F and resultant is also F. So we have to find the angle between those two forces. Means we have to find theta. Okay, so let's just do it. So it is that. Let me use the formula. So the formula is R square is equals to F1 square plus f2 square plus 2ab plus 2ab cos theta. Got it? r square is equals to f1 square plus f2 square plus 2ab cos theta. We can also take it in under root or square root. Okay? Under root and square root both are same. So, yeah. So, what is our resultant? f. So, it will be f square. And what is F1? Means the force one is, uh, is F. So, it is F square. So, I'm not going to make brackets here, okay? So, it will be F square plus F square. F square plus F square because both forces have the magnitude F. So, plus 2 plus Hey, wait a second. Uh, actually, I have used AB here and F1, F2 here. So, let me just rub it and I am going to write here AB, okay? So, A square plus B square. Got it? Let me write it again. Sorry, it was by mistake. So, A square plus B square plus B square. So, A square plus B square plus 2AB cos theta. Yeah, so, yeah, so F square plus F square plus 2 F, F into F. So, it will be like this. F square plus F square plus 2 into F into F. Then cos theta. Cos theta. So, let's do it. F square is equal to, so, F square plus F square is equal to 2 F square. 2f square and this will be also 2f square then cos theta. So on shifting 2f square here, so it will be negative means it will be minus. Its sign will be minus. So minus minus 2f square minus 2f square plus F square. Let me write here. So, it is that what? On shifting 2F square, here its sign will be changed. So, on here it is a plus. On here it will be minus. So, minus, minus 2F square plus F square. See? And now, what is remain? Uh, what on here what remains only 2f square cos theta only 2f square cos theta is left on right hand side and on left hand side we can solve it so 2 minus 1 1 of course so it will be minus f square is equals to 2f square then cos theta then cos theta See, and 
And so now cos theta will come here means on the uh, left hand side. And so now and this will be this and means our resultant will come on right hand side or on our right hand side. So it will be minus minus f square upon 2f square. So minus 1 by 2 means minus 1 by 2 is our final answer. And you know that and if you don't know that then remember it that then remember it cos theta means when theta is 120 degree theta is 120 degree so uh, minus 1 by 2 is 120 degree okay so our theta will be 100 uh, 120 degree so means b1 120 degree minus 1 by 2 uh, will be uh, 120 degree got it so that's why our theta is 120 degree so i hope in that question you don't have any doubts so let's do it so means continue let's do question number two so let me rub it and then we will do question number two so in, in the question number two in that one question also we have to find theta means we have to find the angle between two forces in between two forces yeah so it's almost dropped yeah so let's let us do second question so question number two question number two so let's see what is our question number two so our question number two is the the mod of the mod of resultant is equals to the mod of vector A plus the mod of vector B. Okay. And so then the then the angle between then the angle between let me change the marker. So yeah. So then the angle between vector A and vector b then the angle between vector a and vector b will be will be what in that question options are also given to us so let me write the options now there are total four options in that one question means in this one question four options are given to us so the first one is Let's take 120 degree. So our first one option is 120 degree. Second one is 0 degree. Third one is um, 60 degree. And the fourth one is 100. Um, let's take 90 degree. 90 degree. Okay. So we have taken 120 degree, 0 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Yeah. So... Now, let me read the question, then we will do it. So, the question is, question is that the mod of result is equal to the mod of vector A plus to the mod of vector B. Then the angle between vector A and uh, vector B will be what? So, so it means that, don't be confused because that one means our vector A plus vector B this one is resultant. This is the mod of resultant. This whole is the magnitude of resultant. So, it will be our um, uh, resultant means the mod of resultant. But that one, but that one, but that one will be vector A plus vector B. So, this means that th these are two different vectors. They are not combined with each other. So, this means that there are total two vectors. So, the vector, this is the magnitude of vector A. This is the magnitude of vector B. Suppose, this is the vector of vector A. Uh, sorry, this is the magnitude of vector A and this is the magnitude of vector B. So, this will be different. These two will be different magnitudes. But, this whole one is the resultant. It is the magnitude of resultant. Got it? 
so don't be confused so let's solve it yeah so in that one question as i have told you also as i have told you before also that in this question we all, uh, we have to find the theta so let's solve it so let me use a plus means vector a plus vector b square whole square whole square a plus b whole square then a square plus in the formula we will not use the vectors means we will not put the vector symbol normally a plus b whole square so is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab plus 2ab cos theta am i right this uh, now this will be a formula so let me write a plus b whole square as it is same and so now a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta and so now in that one what we have to do is we can write from here means from a square to 2ab we can write like this a plus b whole square then cos theta this is a rule actually it is a rule you can uh, we can write from a square to 2ab like this okay so now we are going to shift cos theta here on the right hand side sorry on the left hand side and a resultant will uh, will come on right hand side so a plus b whole square upon a plus b whole square so by cutting one is only left and so our theta is 0 degree how because cos uh, cos 0 degree is equals to 1 um and in the previous question like uh, you know the answer was minus 1 by 2 so and uh, our theta will uh, our theta was 180 degree so means that in that one cos 180 degree is equals to minus 1 by 2 but in that one cos 0 degree is equals to 1 so our answer will be second one means 0 degree got it so let's do the another question means the last one question so i hope in that one question you uh, you don't have any doubts i hope you don't have any doubts in that question so now let's do the third one question and in third one question let's do it I have almost rubbed it. Yeah. So let's do question number third. Question number three. What is question number three? Means what will be our question number third? So let's see. So it is that the maximum. The maximum. The maximum and minimum. the maximum and minimum magnitudes magnitudes the maximum and minimum magnitudes of the resultant of two vectors of the resultant of two vectors of two vectors of two vectors the maximum and minimum magnitudes of the resultant of two vectors of magnitude p and q of magnitude p and q of magnitude p and q so so we can in that uh, this question is different from the previous one questions from the previous questions okay so let me continue so of magnitudes p and q are in the ratio 3 is to 1 so magnitude p and q are in the ratios are in the ratios 3 is to 1 are in the ratios 3 is to 1 so which of the following 
which of the following which of the following relations relations is true which of the following relations is true is true so there are options to yeah so there are, in that one question also in this one question also there are four options a b c d so so our first one is p is equals to 2q second one is p is equals to q third one is p is equals to sorry p q is equals to 1 and the fourth one is none of these none of these none of this so so now let me read the question and then we will do it so the question is that the maximum and minimum magnitudes of the resultant of two vectors of magnitude p and q are in the ratio 3 is to 1 so which of the following relations is true so maximum and minimum so by maximum and minimum p plus q by p minus q p minus q and is equals to 3 minus sorry 3 by 1 Three by one, and so now p plus q will be uh, here as it is same, and p minus q will come here. So it will be p sorry three p minus three q, three p minus three q, and so now we are going to put them in like terms. So. So on shifting three p here, it will be minus three p plus p is equals to plus p is equals to, and on shifting q on the left hand side, it will be minus q then minus three q minus three q. Got it? And now let's solve it. So three minus one is equals to two. Two p. Two p. And so. On here it is one, so we can add it. So three plus one is equal to four, and minus four q. So we can cancel minus to minus, and now two p is equal to four q is left. So now I am going to shift two on left hand side, left hand side. So it will be four by two q, four by two q, and so p. So by cutting two by four, so Here, here one and here two. So p is equals to what? Our answer is p is equals to two q. So means our answer is the first one option. Means this one a one. It is also p is equals to two q. And so this was our third question. And I've done all the three questions. And so that's all for today. And in the next video, we can do multiplication of factors. But these are different topics from vector addition. So that's it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.